What's up guys? If you're like me and you're frustrated with trying to transfer files such as pictures, videos, or music from your iPhone to your computer, or vice versa, from your computer to your iPhone, I have a great solution for you. Let me jump over to my computer now and show you this new software that I've been using recently that addresses all the issues that iTunes has. Okay, so to use this software, just go ahead and click on the link in the description below. Then you can go ahead and click the free download button right here and download this software. This software takes seconds to install. Once you have downloaded it like I have just done, you just need to install the executable file. All you have to do is click on install and it will have installed the software. It literally takes a couple of seconds. Okay, so once you have installed it in just a couple of seconds, now you have the software opened up. And there's many different features that you can use in the software. So one of them, I think the most important one for me at least, was going to be the photo transfer. So this lets you transfer photos and videos to and from your iPhone. Uh, you can also transfer music, you can transfer books, you can transfer um, just general files. So you can use this as a flash drive if I click on this here. And here I have a text document that I just want to have on my iPhone. So I can just take this file and drag it into the flash drive window and it is completed. You can now see that the text document is on my iPhone and I can go into the files app on my iPhone and take a look at this document or any other documents that I place in this folder. Okay, so jumping into the photo transfer section, I will click on this button right here. It's gonna load up all the photos on my iPhone. This only takes a couple of seconds. Okay, so now that it has loaded around 2,500 photos and videos from my phone, I've just clicked over into this Mexico folder that I have on my phone. And if I want to take this picture of Mexican tacos from my iPhone, I want to save this on my computer, I would just select it and click on the export button at the top. And you will see that it instantly is saved onto your computer. Okay, so now if I have a picture on my computer that I want to upload onto my iPhone, it is very simple to do. Just gonna take a random screenshot of my desktop right here, and I'm going to save this. I'm just gonna use the same folder that I had the rest of the picture saved in, so I'm gonna click Save. And now I want to upload that onto my iPhone. I'm just gonna create a new folder right here and click the plus button. I'm just gonna create a new folder album called Media Trans, just to make sure that this goes into a folder that I recognize. So then I'm going to click into this folder and I can click on the add photo button here at the top of the screen. And I'm going to select my screenshot and click on open. And I just would click sync and it will upload that onto my iPhone. Okay, so to test out some of the other features that this software has, I'm gonna click on the music manager. And here you will find all of the music that is saved on your iPhone. I'm just going to select a couple of songs and save these over to my computer. So I'm going to select the songs and click on the export button. And you can see it has completed already. And there is now a folder on my computer with the three saved songs in here as well. So that's super easy to save songs. If you want to take songs from your computer onto your iPhone, you click on the add music button here at the top. And this is where you would browse two different music files on your computer and select them to upload very quickly to your iPhone. So that's pretty much it. Using this software, you can basically use your iPhone much more like an Android in terms of dragging and dropping files to and from your phone, whether that be photos or videos or music or any other file, essentially. If you like this video, hit the like button below and subscribe. Peace.